Welcome back. Thank goodness it is Friday. We're almost at the end of the work week. So to celebrate, what are we doing, Ross? Well, Emily DeVoe takes us to Knox Whiskey Works, where their head distiller is shaking up the spirited industry. My name is Miranda White. I'm the head distiller of Knox Whiskey Works. So I actually went to school to be a game warden. Haven't spent the first day as a game warden. There was a distillery opening up kind of close to where I was working at the time. I was freshly 21, thought it would be a neat job. Turns out I'm okay at it, so now I'm here. <laughs> it's a job requiring more than high spirits. Uh, there, there's quite a bit of math, there's quite a bit of chemistry. As the master distiller at Knox Whiskey Works, Miranda White is shaking up what has been traditionally an industry run by men. When I first took this position, I talked to several people. One of them was a distributor, and he, his distributing firm went worldwide. He said I was the fourth one he had ever met. He had been doing it for years. Inside the small bass distillery, the first one to open in Knoxville, White mans the forklift, moves the equipment, and lugs around heavy barrels. It's intensely physical, so most women, I guess, shy away from that or just can't you know, physically do a lot of the work, so, so there's that. <laughs> Anyone can stop by for a tour and a taste. They currently sell 12 spirits, but they're in the process of adding even more. We have plans to launch 13 and 14 here in the next few months. Um, and I really love that about working here. I've always liked the R&D sort of um, element. Research and development. That's White's favorite part of the job. She says she loves experimenting with the ingredients and is constantly thinking of what to make next. For Live at 5 at 4, I'm Emily DeVoe. And just in time for the weekend, the distillery is out with a batch of cocktails that you can try in their tasting room. Very cool.